Vehicle designs can be hit and miss at times depending on a creator's personal taste or who's fitting the bill. Interestingly, some older vehicles we love today were considered weird at first, then dubbed iconic decades later. And that's why the designers and engineers from the past have a direct impact on our present. That will never change. But how we get from A to B will. See for yourself. The visionary vehicles in these videos are creating big buzz for good reason. Imagine yourself driving one of these 15 strange but exciting vehicles from the future. Mercedes-Benz EQ Silver Aero Prototype The vehicles of the future have been imagined for quite some time. It's such a spectacle that imagining the future has become somewhat of an international sensation. Prototype shows are held around the globe to display the future of engineering and technology. It's obvious why. I know I imagine daily what specific aspects of life will be like in the future. Though you may not do it as often as me, I'm sure once or twice you've all thought about the future. How could something might be or how something could change your life forever? These prototype shows take that idea of wonder and uncertainty and feed it with all the tech and engineering you can sink your teeth into. It's the fulfillment of a futuristic tech fantasy, really. You know, all the auto giants have jumped on the bandwagon to bring their own vision of the future to the table for all the world. Take the Mercedes EQ Silver Arrow, for instance, which looks like it could have been featured in a sci-fi flick. Don't worry, this isn't some film prop, this is the real deal. I mean, this thing packs a holographic display that can render maps in 3D on the glass, a 750 horsepower engine, and can accelerate from 0 to 60 in under 2 seconds. This thing isn't only a flashy muscle car, it's got the brains and the brawn to contend with anything going into the future. It's even equipped with an auto drive feature, which is really where the future proofing comes into play. Fasten your seatbelts, because it's time for today's sweet topic. A flying car is a type of vehicle that can function both as a personal car and as an aircraft. It's that simple. Many prototypes like this have been built since the early 20th century using a variety of flight technologies. But how close are we to getting into a real flying car to travel from one location to the next? Say our home to our office. Apparently, we're closer than we think. A few companies are competing to be the very first to develop them. These vehicles will have an enormous impact on life as we know it today, but they'll need to be built in a way to make them easy to operate. But just think about some of the driving we see around us today. Are we going to feel safe driving in a flying car with distracted and risky drivers around and even above us? Another obstacle is how to handle low-flying vehicles in populated cities without them colliding with each other or crashing into buildings. And if you're in the air and out of power, what's the backup plan? So many questions. Help us out here. Use the comments to give us your thoughts. Just use the hashtag Sweet Topic when you do. The Devel 16 The Devel 16 is making headway in the auto world on the back of its insane power. Before we get into specs, which is quite extensive, it's important to note that Devel 16 was invented for speed and power alone. Where this vehicle may provide the technology for future racers, this type of power belongs in the most capable of professional hands. It would more than likely never reach the public. With that being said, the Devel is, well, a demon on the racetrack. Even the elite version of the Bugatti is no match for this devil. This dyno sports a 12.3 liter V16 engine, 81 millimeter quad turbo, 32 titanium valves, 16 cylinder one billet block, Devel 16 custom cylinder heads, one billet camshaft, one crankshaft, and all of it rating over 5,000 horsepower of pure engine power. It's received accolades as the most powerful engine ever built for a production car and most powerful engine built on pump gas and the first and only V16 quad turbo engine product for a production car. That's not even going into the records it's breaking on the tracks. The list goes on and on with this marvel of the future, a testament to modern engineering, even if it is practically reserved for a select few individuals. Toyota LQ The Toyota LQ is the latest addition, an example of an ever-growing tradition of Toyota dominance in the auto market. Where other car makers are seeking power and comfort, Toyota is trying to make a companion. 
Taking the literal example of horsepower, a single horse, Toyota wanted people to connect with their cars like they once did with their horses. They want you to have a companion. It sounds silly, I know, but it's not that unbelievable. Think about how personal our digital lives have become. How walking out the door without your phone can feel uh, strange. Though some blame it on addiction, it's also a connection to people, a method to capture our ideas or moments in time, and Toyota wants you to have this feeling with your car. And it seems that they're on the right track. From conversational AI ripped straight from the pages of sci-fi novels, it's as easy as talking with a friend to get where you're going. Just mention you want to go to a friend's house by name and it knows where to go and it will drive you there while you relax. The seats have thermometers that measure your body's heat to ask whether you'd like the air or heat on for your enjoyment. This car has me excited on so many levels and I can't write them all here. As much as I love to drive, I'd instead use the time to spend focused on something else like reading or writing or watching The Supreme. Where driving once was fun to get around town, it has become too big of a time consumer. The LQ knows your schedule and, without even asking, can take you where you need to go unless otherwise specified. The LQ is a true future car that seeks to unify travel for a safer, faster, better experience while behind the wheel. Who knows if that idiom will even be understood in the future. <laughs> Terrafugia TFX we couldn't ignore flying cars for too long, could we? While some are bustling away at creating the newest energy source for vehicles or power or sociability, others have looked toward the skies for inspiration. Now, it's essential to think of these as separate from cars on the ground. It will be quite some time before a fully functioning flight for the general population scale can be maintained. Its first iteration will be that of a commuting system in the likes of taxis and or rideshare systems. So instead of getting in the car for an autonomous road trip, you can instead hop on one of these babies and cut your time into a third. An impressive innovation for sure. As long as a fossil fuel consumption can be reduced, it burns more fossil fuel than five cars. So with a fleet of these running, air quality might become a bit of a problem, especially when considering issues of today. The plan is for a solar prop combination system with zero emissions. That will be the day of the future for sure. The Audi AI ME. The Audi AI ME is a vehicle program rather than the traditional method of buying cars. For example, cities would buy them in fleets, prohibiting the travel of personal vehicles on the roads while the fleet of city vehicles autonomously transit all occupants. Pull up the app, order the car, and one will arrive at your door in a matter of minutes, ready to take you to your destination already entered into the app. That's not even the best part. You can change the mode from autonomy to manual and drive yourself if you're feeling that itch. But the inside is spacious enough and has a resort-like finish to where you can sit back and relax on the ride or get some early work in if the occasion arises. Needless to say, the Audi AI ME Systems is seeking to revolutionize city living and how people can get around safely, starting with large cities and the ambition to eventually stretch across entire countries. A whole network of vehicles will operate like pieces on a game board. Once all the kinks have been worked out, it could provide one of the safest and most reliable systems of transportation invented since the locomotive. <laughs> The Tesla Model X Of course, Tesla would make the list. They're basically the apple of the automotive industry, whose design and technology work together like none other. This strategy also poses some considerable risk since your components are unique to your vehicle alone. It poses a risk and offers excellent rewards though, if successful. As with other Teslas in the series, the Model X seeks to take what is already done best and do it better with a personal touch. Check this out, the Model X boasts some fantastic stats. Being an SUV, you can imagine the electric mileage not being so good, which is mostly true of today, including the older Tesla SUV models. Distance and size are now becoming a thing of the past as the Model X can go up to 300 miles on a single charge, 30 times further than ever before. But Tesla batteries are well known. What else makes the Model X special? Aside from its numerous customization options, including the third row of seats, its navigation system is top-notch. Input a location too far for the vehicle to reach, it will map out supercharging stations along the entire path. 
so you know when and where there'll be time to stop for a charge. It even has racing games you play on its massive dashboard screen with the steering wheel while you wait for your car to top off. When it's done, it will gently remind you, charge is complete, and update your route accordingly. Tesla is genuinely becoming the car of choice for cross-country travel, especially as the chagrining stations continue to be built going east. Hyundai SA1 Urban Air Mobility As mentioned earlier, all the big names are getting into the future tech game. Even many up-and-coming companies have been trying to prepare for whatever the future holds for humans and travel. The Hyundai Urban Air Mobility is a modern take on public transit. It's got a solution for long-distance travel and what would replace buses or trolleys and trains. Pull up an app on your phone and mark a pickup spot. No more bus stops. When the Hyundai arrives at the scene like a school bus, it will flash the red light and halt to pick you up with a down-to-the-second update. No more waiting at the bus stop because you know exactly when it's going to be there. Need to get across the bridge in New York where traffic jams were a thing of the past? Now we have buses that can fly across the bridges or cities within a matter of minutes. This could cut down travel time from one end of the town to another by 1,000% according to future technology projections. Think of all the things you could do with that time being saved with a transit system as efficient as this one. Vision AVTR Mercedes has been making prototype cars since they started all those years ago. They're one of the most advanced auto companies on the planet because of this history. Where it's become commonplace to jump a few years ahead in prototype shows, Mercedes has always enjoyed giving the public a taste of the far future. One of talking cars, Tron-like illuminations in the dark, and energy systems that require no recharge stations or gasoline, with solar panels digitally controlled to the optimum angle of energy gatherings from the sun, the car is continuously charging itself on the road and traditional methods of wheels-turning battery charging method of alternators in the past. Mercedes is pushing the brink of technology at our disposal today and showing what's possible tomorrow. These things are real, people. Without minds thinking up future ideas like this, they can run into problems early and get them sorted sooner rather than later. Get this, countries and companies are hiring sci-fi authors to think up futuristic visions of the world and its operations. That's a type of thinking never before seen on planet Earth, so I'm excited to see what comes from that momentum. The Fiat Centoventi Fiat is taking the future to a whole new place, one of customization and personalizing. Boasting many of their smart features you wouldn't expect from a car from the future, the Fiat Centoventi offers what they call a blank slate. Inside, you'll find the steering wheel, gauges, and essential equipment to safely and comfortably operate the vehicle. The dash, however, is where the blank slate comes into play. Riddled with tiny holes along its entirety, the dash has become whatever you want. Want some hangers to hang shopping bags? It has it. Want a few cup holders? A phone stabilizer? Wireless routers? Pencil holders? Food trays? You name it! With what is as easy as playing with Legos, you can customize your car's internal to be precisely how you'd like it. After the initial release, the best part is that third-party components will be allowed to build for the vehicle, making it that much more accessible to people and what they do with it. If you want to customize your car down to the smallest detail, then the Fiat Centoventi is the car for you in the future. Storm R3 Not all cars will be the same around the world. Some cities and countries won't be able to handle the congestion of bigger body vehicles. Needless to say, cars will eventually adapt to the terrain like humans have. Though we are all headed the electric route with zero emission, the Storm R3 takes many smart car features and compacts it into this cute little three-wheeled vehicle. Streets in India are indeed crowded and congested with a walking population that doesn't seem to mind whether traffic sees them or not. Making all the vehicles smaller and autonomous, on the other hand, could provide quite a different situation. In the least, it will reduce some of the noise and bloat that the city life can sometimes feel. Don't let this little car throw you off of what's under the hood, however. These little babies can still zoom around the city as three engine options depend on mileage required, a 120km, 160km, and 200km range. That has enormous environmental impact potential as well, so it'll be better the sooner we get these things up and running. 
Fisker Ocean SUV. Fisker has done something truly incredible with this car. They've taken an SUV, made it 100% electric, can get up to 300 miles on a single charge thanks to the addition of solar sunroof. The best part of it all, they made it more affordable than anything else like it is on the market. You can see the Fisker Ocean SUV, which boasts most of the same amazing features as Tesla does, starting at $37,000. I know it's still a lot of money, but if you do your research, you'll find there's nothing else on the market in its class that can compare. Sure, you can get the sedan Tesla model starting at a near price, but an all-electric SUV with even more miles is too challenging to pass up over the ladder. I'm on their site right now checking them out and they're starting shipping next year. Now might be a great time to get into the electric car game if you can sport the cash and if your area has a charging station. It's undoubtedly well worth the money and gas alone if SUV needs are a requirement. Cybic E-Legend CES often is home to some of the most amazing futuristic tech we've ever seen. Not all of it makes it to market, but you can bet it could turn a few heads, not to mention bringing attention to otherwise unknown startups. The Cybic E-Legend bike is a digital bike where you more than likely have to pay some service fee like that of a cell phone. They haven't confirmed that, but usually anything with a SIM card requires access to a network. It also has Amazon Alexa built right into it. You can return texts, make phone calls, ask for directions? You can do just about anything you can do on Alexa, with a few unique features for the bike. Though there is much work on the autonomous version still to be conducted, they're still years away from making it a reality. If you're looking for a hands-free experience with biking and one where you can blast music from a speaker built right in, check out the Cybic E-Legend. The Gibbs Quadski The Quadski is the ultimate quad. Fully electric, with enough torque and mileage to fulfill any outdoor adventures you wish. Not only are these things powerful, quads capable of tackling any land-based terrain, but you can also take the babies on water. The tires fold up, and the ski part of the name takes over, radically transforming the quad into a jet ski in seconds. Imagine the adventures you can go on with one of these in your arsenal. Run out of battery? The quad ski has a gas tank you can fill to make sure you're never left stranded. Though marketed as the extreme outdoorsman, I can't help but get the buying itch while watching these people transit from quad riding to ski surfing with the press of a button. Has me excited for other future things going forward. Sony Vision S Sony isn't in the vehicle game yet, but when technology is concerned, they're a step ahead. If you know Sony, you know this thing has all the bells and whistles to make this a technology fiend's dream. All electric, all high resolution screens, cameras and social interaction. With a see-through heads-up display, an all-electric engine, and an environmental system capable of measuring your biometrics and adjusting your settings, the Vision S is a real sense of the future. This concept means Sony is probably more likely to design the car's technology inside and how it all connects to the outside and you, rather than it to develop an entire vehicle. We probably won't be seeing any engines with the name Sony stamped across the top, but you never know. In the world of tech, strange concepts often lead to genius innovation. Think of the concept as a sort of brainstorming session for engineers and innovation. They're seeking to inspire that sense of wonder and creation. The Volocopter If you haven't guessed, the Volocopter is a new design on helicopters, aimed at use for the future of travel. All electric, the Volocopter is the first to become certified as a multi-copter, allowing its usage in an urban environment. It's quiet, it's energy efficient, and it's easy to fly and learn. The Volocopter is the first win in what has been a century-long battle to create a flying urban transport. It's already in testing phases and select phases in Germany. It's mostly taken helicopter flying and made it as easy as flying a drone. With proper training and licensing, anyone can fly one of these bad boys. Not for long, though. 
Unfortunately, they are already hard at work creating flight paths and mapping systems that allow for autonomy and its eventual full integration. This is the dawn of a new age, people. Get excited, a zero emission, self-balancing copter used in a city without fear of disturbing residents. It's a real game changer. Keep your eye on the news for more on this tech in your area soon. Humans have imagined the future ever since we realized we could imagine. It's part of our defense mechanism to plan and worry for tomorrow and brings about our most exceptional creativity and innovation. Enter sci-fi authors, inventors, and others who chose to change what they feared most about a future world. See, that same worry about the future can also be used as a motivator for moving forward with action. Where the mind can imagine, physics must first be defied. Like all other things, it seems only dependent on one genuine factor, time. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to get lit content delivered right to your inbox.